So welcome to We Figure This Out. In this little series of videos, we're going to talk about things we sell in a store that we may not know a lot about and you may not know a lot about. So together, we're going to figure it out through research and trial and error. In this edition of We Figure It Out, we did something a little different. Instead of us figuring it out, we went to a model car group meeting and we talked to people that used the new Revel Chrome spray paint to see what they thought of it. One fellow brought along a model that he had used the paint on and we get to show you what the results were. So this paint runs around $40 a can and I had no need at this time to try it out personally. So I was hoping that somebody in our group would try it out and let us know how it worked and share it with the rest of us. And he was happy to do it at last night's meeting. You can see he used it on his bumpers and side mirrors. And we've tried to catch this in all kinds of angles so you can see what it's like. If we get the angle just right, you can see it looks just like real chrome. The, the effect is amazing. He told us that you put it on wet. Make sure it's very wet. It will self-level, but you got to get it on wet. If you keep the can too far away, it does pebbling and things like that, which you don't want in a smooth chrome finish. He was very pleased with it. He thought for the price of the paint and the realism of the chrome finish, it was worth buying. So that's what we have to say about the new chrome paint from Revel. Get some and try it out yourself. You don't need a lot to do a little bit. I'm sure the can will go a long way. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Don't forget, hit subscribe, slap that bell, and make sure you're part of Team Hobby Center.